So Chris, you recently attended a conference in the west coast of the United States on emerging technologies, which was frequented by a lot of global CEOs. However, you're now in Malta attending the Maltese Emerging Technology Conference. The difference between the two is Malta is characterized by a lot of small to medium-sized enterprises, and local CEOs might not think that emerging technologies are applicable to them. What are your thoughts on this? Well, you know, the interesting thing is, uh, even in market conversations that we have in the States, a lot of you know, medium-sized companies or smaller companies have the ability to be nimble, to uh, adopt these emerging technologies to support their business strategies, and quite frankly, signal to the marketplace or be very public about putting Malta and their business on the map, about being an early adopter or someone that's actually building something that can be uh, potentially an accretive or monetized solution for them out in the broader global marketplace. Okay, so you, you, you don't need deep pockets sort of for the emerging technologies. That's correct. Most of these emerging technologies, a lot of them are open source, um, and a lot of the, you know, a lot of the players are startups and small vendors. So the investment required to stand up a, an emerging technology solution that integrates with existing systems is not nearly the level of investment that you would have to make in an off-the-shelf solution to configure specific to your use case or your business needs. So if you think about large ERP players or mid-size ERP players, they're very, very expensive. These technologies are much, uh, much lower investment to at least get something started and in an agile, an agile methodology like build a minimum viable product to demonstrate that it works from a technical feasibility perspective as well as demonstrates the business value that you're trying to, uh, that you're trying to source. So your message is sort of to sort of start small and then scale up as, as the company. And quite frankly, that's the, that, yes, that's exactly right. And that, that is the guidance that we give to even the Fortune 100 companies. You know, this is, this is a journey. It's, you know, this is kind of a, a sprint-based marathon, if that makes sense. So, you know, you do want to start small. You want to make the incremental investments. The whole, the whole uh, agile method is predicated on failing fast as well. And there are large companies that, you know, have failed, uh, but they failed with a minimal investment. Now, obviously, that investment, comparatively speaking, to a company in Malta would be more significant, you know, on their balance sheet. But um, it's, this is not a wait-and-see time for emerging technologies. This is, this is a time to investigate, gain a facility, um, and potentially, you know, move that ball down the field. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.